Did you miss me? Anyway, I am here to review a film which uh, I've been looking forward to for a while. I've avoided spoilers. Well, I've seen one. I'm not going to tell you what it is because this is a spoiler-free review. And to the five people who probably watched this video, don't ruin it, please. Like, I know it came out last Friday, but just don't do it, please. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, with all that, with all that stuff done, maximum effort. Let's fucking go. The review warrior. So, Deadpool and Wolverine was directed by Sean Levy, and is the third in the Deadpool movies, and also the thirty-fourth film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because, in case you haven't heard, Deadpool is now in the MCU. And uh, he has to team up with an old favourite from the X-Men, that is right, Wolverine, to stop this bad thing from happening in the TVA, the Time Variance Authority, which could result in all the timelines being erased or destroyed. Same thing. So going into this film, I'm not going to lie, it was friggin' difficult to keep away from spoilers because that's the main thing that people are talking about nowadays after they watch Deadpool Wolverine and that is the spoilers. I've had one thing spoiled and I saw it on TikTok. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. There might be a spoiler review. I might do. Might be you know, my first ever spoiler review. You never know. But um, yeah, this film was awesome. <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine was everything I wanted it to be and more. Ryan Reynolds comes back as the Merc with the Mouth once again. What else is there to say for Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool? I mean, the man was born to play the Merc with the Mouth. In this one, though, he kind of retires from the Deadpool character for the first 10 minutes because he's kind of a used car salesman at the start and it's absolutely hilarious. But then Matthew McFadden playing Paradox calls him up. Mr. Wilson, we need your help or something. And then, yeah. But still, Ryan Reynolds. If I ever meet Ryan Reynolds, I'm going to buy him a beer and say thank you. Because, yeah, he bought the real Deadpool to the big screen. And now we come to another actor in this film. I think everyone was excited to see him. That is Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Come on. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Seeing Wolverine back on screen and in the MC and now in the MCU, played once again by Hugh Jackman. The man is an absolute treasure next to Keanu Reeves and anyone else. Because like Deadpool, who else could be better to play Wolverine than Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman to Wolverine is like Ryan Reynolds to Deadpool. They cannot be played by anyone else. <laughs> Now, coming to the bad guy, played by Emma Corrin, Cassandra, I forgot, I forgot her name, basically Professor X's twin. Um, yeah, she was good. <laughs> she was really good in the film. A lot of people are giving her crap. Like, I personally didn't mind her, and um, I thought she, uh, she had this really weird, she had this really weird power where she can kind of put her hand into your face and you see it like, you see her fingers like bulging out the skin I was like when I watch that and uh, yeah like I said a lot of people are giving her crap she's a good MCU villain but can't top Eric Killmonger or Thanos unfortunately okay I got one thing to say before I carry on with this review they spoil a character return in the trailer I'm not gonna say who but when I saw that trailer I was like really Marvel, come on. That's like a big selling point in the film. Like, can you not just ruin who was coming back? Like, yes, I know. It's one, well, two characters. But we, it could have been nice to see it actually happen in the film. You know, as intended. You don't ruin the returns in the trailer. Who are you, Sony? Okay, so, uh, bit of comedy. It's absolutely hilarious, you know. What, what else would you expect from Deadpool? Um, the fourth wall breaks were amazing. Um, like I said before, Ryan Reynolds nails the fourth wall breaking as Deadpool. 
and he's <laughs> there were loads of times where I was just in stitches. Fourth wall breaks, all the comedic timing, all the cameos, all the Easter eggs, that kind of thing. They were really cool, really cool to see. Um, if I had any gripes, I would say it did slow down in a couple of scenes, but as soon as it slowed down, it sped back up again, thankfully. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Deadpool and Wolverine. So in the end, Deadpool and Wolverine, I loved every minute of it, bar from the slow bits, like I said. Ryan Reynolds, please play Deadpool again in the MCU, I beg you, even if it's in Avengers Secret Wars or Doomsday, I just want to see him back as Deadpool for how la however long it takes. Hugh Jackman was amazing as Wolverine. I'm not sure if he's coming back again. But like I said, Emma Corrin, she was amazing in the film as well. Matthew McFadden was good. All the effects were cool. High stakes in this one as well, I must say. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end the review here. So without further ado, I'm going to give Deadpool and Wolverine an A. So Deadpool and Wolverine, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what is your favourite superhero film within the MCU? Whether it's this one, Avengers Endgame, or anything like that. Comment below, let me know what you think. And please guys, I do ask you this. Do not spoil it in the comments please. I would much appreciate that. If you don't spoil it, you're a good person. And I do appreciate you all, thank you very much. So I've been the Review Warrior. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for sticking around after all these months of waiting. Since my review for Relaxing from the Future. I do appreciate you all staying. All 210 of you. And whoever the hell watches my videos. Um, I'm going to try and do like more reviews on here. Of people requesting films. Like Carl. Who I know is a Jello movie fan. Um, recommended a Greasy Strangler. My friend Fung, who I know in the club, that club, if you don't mind me saying, she recommended Village Villagers, I think, and I can't remember what the other recommendation was, but I will find out. I'll put the list up there anyway. But anyway, I've been the Review Warrior. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and let's have a maximum effort intro, and let's let's bring back the videos. See you all in a bit. Ta ta. <laughs> Any recommendations, just comment below and let me know. Remember to like and subscribe.